this video, we are going to be tackling a classic two sum two. What exactly do they want in this problem? Well, here's what's going to happen. They're going to give you two things. They're going to give you an array and they're going to give you a target and you need to find the two numbers, hence two sum, that add up to be the target. So if you look at this array, I mean, I'm sure that you can identify the number. The number that's going to add up to number two, nine is going to be two and seven. But why do they call it two sum two? Well, it's a minor variation of a pretty old problem. In the original, just regular two sum, these numbers are not sorted. So that is the biggest difference. The numbers are now sorted, and this drastically uh, changes how we approach this problem. Also, another thing is, is that they want you to return an array of the actual indexes not based on zero. So they want you to return it uh, with a one based index. What exactly does that mean? It's probably confusing. Well, if we come out with the answer of two and seven, so we're going to come out with the, we're going to come out with the answer of two and seven on a zero based index. This, this, if we were to return a zero based index, it would be zero and one, but we don't want to actually return zero and one. We want to return one and two on a one based index. And that's what the problem is asking for. So if the answer here is, so if we add two and seven, two and seven are the numbers that we want to return, but we want to return the length on a once again, one based index. So it's going to be one and two. And that's pretty much the whole entire idea. And that's, the whole entire idea behind two sum two and how it's a minor variation of two sum. So let's go talk about how we're actually going to solve this. Now we can solve this with a hash set, but that's also going to increase our time complexity when you, or our space complexity. When you use a hash set, you can get away with using a hash set, but it's going to increase the space complexity of the problem. And the space, space complexity is going to be N as opposed to just one. But if we have a two pointer and key point, we can only use a two pointer in this scenario because the numbers are sorted in the array. And that's also kind of a good philosophy to have if you come across a leak code question that c comes across as sorted. If you have a sorted array, a lot of times you can get away with two pointer and two pointer is going to, number one, it's going to get your uh, space complexity down and it's going to get your time complexity down. So this question is pretty much a slam dunk. This is a pretty easy question. I have no idea why they made it medium. So all that we're gonna do is we're gonna place a uh, pointer on the left here and we're going to place a pointer on the right. And we're going to, every single time that we come across or every single time that we iterate, we're going to try to add the two numbers and check if they equal number nine. And if the number's too big, we're gonna move this pointer to the left. We're going to move the right pointer to the left, just like this. Then we're going to check again. Is 2 plus 11 equal to 9? Nope, too big. So we're going to, once again, move this pointer over. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Congratulations. We solved the problem. Go ahead, return the one based indexes, and you are done. So let's go ahead inside VS Code and let's code this thing up. So we are inside of Visual Studio Code, and first thing that I'm going to do is type out the method. Remember that we are returning an array of the actual one based index. So we're not going to be returning an int and we're going to call this two sum. And I don't know why they didn't put like maybe two eyes in there. They just called it regular two sum. Uh, next thing we're going to need our parameters. We are going to be obviously passing in the numbers that we plan on uh, getting the two sum from. And we're also going to need the target. So here, go ahead, get some curly braces down. Let's go ahead and uh, assign our pointers up at the top. We're going to go ahead, add zero, or, uh, use zero. And we're also going to have here uh, the index on the right, which is going to be the numbers.length minus one. So numbers.length minus one. No surprises there. So. As usual, whenever we're doing a two pointer, we're gonna be using a while loop and this while loop is going to, uh, whenever the two pointers cross or whenever they get to the point where they're going to cross, we're going to exit out of this while loop right here. 
Um, we don't have to actually do this part right here, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and destructure this out so we don't have to type this out a bunch. And this is pretty much going to be the sum. So this is going to be the low, so numbers.low, and we're just going to obtain the sum of the two numbers where the pointers are at. And this is really easy to do. Next, we're going to check if the sum is equal to the target. So if the sum is equal to the target, we are done. We don't have to go further anymore. So we'll go ahead just and we'll go ahead and assign some uh, logic for that. And we'll go here, return new array. So we want to return a brand new array. So this is going to be an int array. And within it, we're going to have the low plus one and we're going to have the high plus one too. Now remember, the only reason we're doing the plus one is because they want it on a one-based index and they explicitly sp state that in the leak code. So if that part is confusing to you, that just really has to do with what leak code wants in the description. It's kind of strange. I don't know why they want it like that, but that's what they want. So that's what leak code's going to get. So sum, and if the sum is less than the target, this is when we want to go ahead and uh, increment the low and we want to take the low pointer and we want to move it up. And lastly, we don't have any other logic to actually take care of. So just like on the whiteboard, if the number is too high, we want to actually decrement the high and be careful how you increment or decrement these because it's going to drastically shape how the problem actually works. So we are pretty much done. So if we don't get anything, so if there's no numbers that actually equal the target, what they do is they want you to actually return the int and they want you to return uh, two negative ones just like that. And pretty easy question. Don't know why they made it medium. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to go ahead, get this, I need to get out of the actual appearance right here. I need to get out of full screen mode and let's go over into VS Code real quick. So we're gonna go ahead, go into lead code right here Let's go ahead, paste this in, and make sure that we're running good. Make sure all our test cases are running. Everything is good to go. Let's go ahead and hit submit. Make sure that we're not using extra space because it explicitly states in the description that you can't use extra space. So we're gonna go into here and our space complexity is one. Congratulations, we have passed the interview. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.